Hi, Chris here with 123 Meals. We're going to take a look at the Magic SVG widget. Now, this is a really neat little widget. May not you be used all the time, but when you want a really nice dynamic effect on the page, you're going to love this. So we're going to drag it from our Edition 5 widgets library here onto the page. And we've this is the widget here, and we're using that nice ink interface here. Um, as with all of our widgets and we have a demo uh, SVG file here and we can see that we have um, in the options here we've got a an ID name so that would be powered by the um, well we'll show you that in a minute we have a duration an animation type and an animation start point so I'm going to click auto start on there and one by one now let's see what it actually does so you've seen a couple of the settings there but what does it actually do preview page in the browser and we can see that we have this really nice animated drawing um, of this um, this phone on the page this could be any SVG uh, that has outlines and it draws it onto the page and looks great and you can apply this to any SVG so let's take a look at the settings a bit closer and see what we've got here we've got the um, SVG ID so that relates to the name in the SVG. We'll take a look at the code to see how that works. And then I'm going to show you how to do this in Illustrator. It's really easy. The duration, how long do you want the animation to run? The animation type. So we have things like one by one. So each individual line is animated one by one or asynchronously all together, or there's a slight delay in between each one. Do we want it to auto start? Or do we want to use it in the viewport? Now on desktop, if you want to use this widget in um, desktop sites, the in viewport is really great because it actually only starts the animation when the um, graphic is in the viewport area. So you can create some really cool sites. You could create charts. You can create all sorts of things that only um, that animate into place when they're in the viewport. So it's a very, very useful uh, widget indeed. Um, it's a design tool. It's not just a widget, it's a design tool. So you can create these effects that you've seen on other sites very easily. Let's take a look at the code here. So this is just an HTML object. If we jump into the code, it looks complicated, but it's not as difficult as it looks. And I'll show you how in a minute. The ID was called sample. If we look at our SVG code here, we can see that we have an idea of an ID of sample. How do we get that in there? How do we get this code in here? And how do we make this in Adobe Illustrator? Let's jump over to Illustrator and take a look. I'm going to open up this logo, this simple 123 Muse logo. At the moment, it's a filled object, but I'm going to switch that to outlines, switch that outline off. Ooh, didn't want gradient. There we go. So this is just an outline graphic. I could change the color if I want. I'm going to leave it in black. Go to File. And then Save. Oh, sorry, Save As in this particular instance. And I get to choose SVG, Save. And then in our code here, we click on SVG code. And it gives us all of that data that we saw before. We copy that, we go back into Muse, and I'm going to delete this, go to Object, Insert HTML, and just paste it in. And there we go. It's rendered the SVG for us. Let's just make that a bit bigger. Now let's see it running, shall we? Hang on a minute, it's not animated in. What's going wrong? Well, let's jump back into Illustrator. And we can see here that if we, I'm going to select this, let's make this a bit bigger. There we go. If we go into our layers panel in Adobe Illustrator, uh, here's my layers. There we go. I'm going to open them up here. Let's pull this in place so you can see it. We can see that this component path here and this, uh, this layer doesn't have a name. So let's just change that to sample. And now let's save that out again. So file save as SVG, save. Let's go to the SVG code button, close that one down, copy that, go back into Muse. Uh, we've selected our box here, edit HTML, 
select it all, com Command A, delete, and copy that back in. Now, if we take a look at our code here, now we have that idea of sample again. So the layer name generates the SVG ID. So let's take a look at that now and preview in the browser. And there we have our lovely animated SVG. So you can do this, you can do, think of all kinds of things that you can do with this. Um, and let's just recap what we did here. So we were started off in an Illustrator. We made sure that we were using outlines, we were using lines for the actual SVG here. We then went to the layers panel and changed the layer name to sample. It could be anything you like, but for this particular to demo, we're using the word sample. Then we went to file, save as. We selected SVG, not compressed SVG, just SVG. Hit save. And then we clicked on the SVG code button, opened up the, the text file, copied the text, went back to Muse. And let's do this from scratch here. We went to object, insert HTML, pasted our code, Hit OK, that rendered onto the page, resize it, make sure that our settings sample and the duration, we could make that slower if we wanted, and then hit preview, and there you have the animation. So very, very straightforward, but you can do amazing things with this. You can use mu multiple instances of this widget on the page, so you could have different graphics, just call each one by a different ID. And um, I think you'll find that that widget's very powerful. Thanks for watching, move on to the next video.